Hey, how you doing? Chris again. Hey, um, I want to show you a little project I've been contemplating on building and I decided to, you know, instead of buying one, I want to build one myself. So what this is, this is a power supply for bench testing, GM, PCMs, or I'm probably, you could probably do any PCMs. I'm going to be doing the, the for the swaps, for the uh, LS swap into other vehicles. So that's what I'm setting mine up for. But uh, I've seen them. You can buy them new. I'm pretty handy with uh, electronics, and I'm an electrician by trade, so I like to tinker. Um, instead of always spending money buying something, uh, sometimes it's nice to build your own. So what I'm doing is, what I'm starting with is a outdoor weatherproof box you would find at your local Home Depot electrical supply house. This is what I have laying around because this is what I do. Um, a couple of these plastic connectors, these are made by Arlington, and I'll show you how that works and the, what the benefit of that is. Plus, I had them, that's my benefit. And uh, what I so so far, I'm collecting all these pieces. I got a couple, um, they're rated 120 volt, uh, they'll most definitely work on 12 volt. They're just toggle switches with pigtails. A couple of those, here's a blank cover. I'm actually in another video, uh, I'm going to do this in stages, I'm going to drill a hole here, drill a hole here, one will be for power, for straight power off the battery, there will be another switch here which represents the ignition, and uh, I'll have two little LED lights, I'm still waiting on them, I ordered them from Amazon. Um, so another thing I got was, um, these are actually sold in a pack of 10 on Amazon for 5 bucks, you can't go wrong with that, it's just a 12 volt female. Um, 2.1 millimeter, I believe it's millimeter, and by five and a half. Uh, don't quote me on that. <clears throat> but they work on your most common like power supplies. They come with, um, you know, electronic equipment and stuff like that. You can find. I got a whole box of them. Every time I throw something away, I keep them. Uh, you never know when you're gonna need to step down from um, 120 volt to 12 volt. So anyway, uh, here's my blue connector for the PCM and uh, it only requires basically uh, a constant an ignition a ground and this green wire right here is the one that uh, the um, HP tuner suite when you plug it into your OBD2 port uh, which I still have to get one of these on wired in will transfer data to the computer um, uh, that being said uh, I am picking up the HP tuner suite I have a couple swaps I'm doing. I'm doing a swap for a buddy. Uh, I have some guys around here that um, want to get some flashing done, so I'm going to pick that up. And that's the whole reason why I'm building this, so I figured I'd start with this. But uh, this pigtail, what I'm going to do is, I'm trying to watch this through the camera, through the phone, I mean, I'm sorry. Um, what this is designed to do is, this is designed to, uh, once something's in or a wire, it'll, it'll, it'll snug tight and close on it so that won't come out and then what I'll do is I'll slide this in here and I'll screw this in these openings now this is a weather tight box this doesn't have to be weather tight obviously but this is what I have because this is what I do so this will go in there now this creates a nice sturdy port that I can plug my power into 120 volt power to get 12 volt to convert this and what I'll do is I'll bunch all these wires together on this blue connector and I'll run them in here with a piece of uh, loom. Um, I may use shrink wrap, I'm not sure. Then the other opening here will be for my OBD2 port that'll come out and just lay here. And I'm gonna leave enough slack that, you know, I've seen other guys home make them and I'm not saying mine's better. I just wanted something a little um, neat and clean to my liking. And um, instead of buying one, I mean, EFI connection sells one for I think 165 bucks then you got to buy the different pigtails I, I, I actually thought about just putting uh, spade connectors and insulated connectors on the end of this male and female so I could change the blue connector if I ever get into um, tuning other brands forward um, you know even GM has a few different uh, connectors uh, especially for the newer vehicles but uh, for now, I'm just going to be doing like a lot of 99 to 03, 02 PCM. So if I do make changes to this, I can make videos and, and explain. But so this is what this is how my setup is going to be. Uh, bell box. 
is what we call them in the industry. Um, some weather tight connectors that squeeze down uh, whenever you put it. They're, they're made for like um, extension cord type cord, SJ, SO cord. Um, just creating a weather tight connection. And uh, this here, again, this pigtail, here's the part number. You got a bag of 10 for $5 on Amazon. You can't go wrong there. Uh, I did order my LED lights that are going to go in here off Amazon. They're not here yet. So in my next video, I'll probably have this drilled, the switches in. I'll start wa wiring this. I'll start soldering the connections. And then um, I'll show you guys the work, uh, the end result, and it working as soon as I get my, my HP tuner sweet. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them, and I will definitely get back to you. Thanks.